Hey guys, Chad here with another beer review. It's been a long time since I've had this beer, not since the last beer review. I had this about a year ago. This is uh, Cigar City's Good Gourd. It's a, a pumpkin beer, 8.5 ABV. Ale, what does that say? Ale with pumpkin and spices added. Um, and it says... Ceylon cinnamon, Jamaican allspice, Zanzibar cloves, and nutmeg. I've actually had this beer before about a year ago at a bottle share. Sean, my friend Sean, you've seen him in the reviews. He went down to, I think he was visiting his dad down there in Florida. And he brought a bottle of this back. And I, if you actually, if you watch the bottle share video, it's probably in there somewhere. And I said it tastes, it tastes exactly like candy yams, like in liquid form. But it's been let's say 9 to 13 months since I've had this and uh, I got this this bottle I got from uh, Matt Stewart MT Stewart um, he was actually visiting here in Albany about oh damn it was almost like two months ago now maybe like a month and a half ago it was quite a lot while ago he uh, he gave me this he brought me this bottle and a few other Cigar City and uh, other Florida bottles so thanks Matt for the beer it's much appreciated because I've always wanted to do a formal review on this. So anyways, we got in the glass. It's a really beautiful color. I mean, it looks kind of like burgundy on camera, but it's more of like a ruby red, like, flame orange color, especially if you hold it up to the light here. Um, it had about a three, four finger head on it when I poured it. It's like a, you know, slightly off-white, almost like marshmallowy, thick froth, you know? You guys can see that on camera. The smell. Wow. I mean, it's it's so it's all the spices I it, I just listed, especially really tons of cinnamon and yeah that that cloves coming through in there. It smells like really sweet. It smells very it smells very pie ish. But uh, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Mm, wow, that's really sweet. I mean, like up front, I get like the whole typical pumpkin type flavoring, but the second half, it's like, it's like you know, I've always said like pumpkin beers are gonna be either you know pumpkin pie beers or pumpkin potpourri beers. This seems to be like both at once. Um, you know, kind of a uh, pumpkin potpourri up front and then pumpkin pie on the finish. You get a lot of vanilla on this one too. It tastes like real authentic vanilla, not like vanilla extract. You get a pretty high ABV on there, 8.5 ABV. So you know, like the alcohol is kind of combining with that those spices and and the the genuine genuine you know pumpkin flavor. Probably you know accentuating that sweetness a little bit. Um, you know, just give me like you know when you get depending on the type of beer type of yeast that you use. Um, you know, like a lot of Belgian beers, you're gonna get like kind of like a rum quality from the yeast and the alcohol. Similar kind of uh, sensation on this one. Um, it's similar. To, a lot of people compare Southern Tier Pumpkin. That tastes exactly like pumpkin pie, especially like the pump, like this the graham cracker crust. This tastes like. Well, you know what? It doesn't really taste much like candy yams. It has, it has like the kind of candy yam aftertaste so it's like you do get like a little bit of like a marshmallow kind of flavor and a sweet potato but it's it's made with pumpkin so it's not a sweet potato beer mm. yeah cinnamon clove up front on the on the finish is when I'm getting that what I'm assuming is the Jamaican allspice and um, nutmeg has like this kind of uh have you ever had like i mean if you ever had jamaican jerk chicken or anything like that there's a certain i mean like that's the only thing i know how to go by it's probably like a ginger it's probably like a gingery flavor um you get that you're getting that on here
Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's really, really smooth. It's it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, like that mouthfeel is like, it's like thick but very soft, with like a creamy, very, very creamy kind of like Guinness or like any kind of nitrogenated beer. Like, that kind of uh, smooth texture to it. Like, it's really comfortable in the mouth. Really easy to, to go down. You can drink it in sips, or I can, like, I could feel like I could drink an entire glass in one in one swig, you know? Mm. Yeah, the more I drink, the sweeter it seems to get. So it is more of like in the pumpkin pie realm. Um, wow. I mean, it's been a long time since I've had this beer. So, you know, plus I had it as part of a bottle share. So, you know, I only, only had like that much of it. And then had beer before and beer after it. So probably wasn't the ideal conditions to drink it. But, you know, being able to kill this entire 750 mil bottle by myself... It's uh, quite a different experience. Um, I know a lot of people say they like this better than pumpkin. I don't think you can really compare this to pumpkin because, like, they're quite different flavors. I mean, pumpkin is just l liquid pumpkin pie, and it's delicious. Good gourd. It's something else. It's like, it's kind of like every other pumpkin beer, only way better. You know, like the getting some of the pumpkin pie type beers, some of the pumpkin potpourri type beers, but just tons of flavor, great balance, great use of of spices in this one. It's definitely not the liquid candy yams like I I thought it was. I, I don't even know if that was me, or like I think somebody put that in my head and then I just like you know that's what I tasted it. I I it it doesn't it's not so much candy yams anymore. It's not like um, mealy or like you know I mean you can make beer from sweet potatoes or you know sweet potatoes and yams are the same thing um, you know I kind of prefer the I actually don't think I've ever had a sweet potato beer uh, home brews but um, yeah I mean anyways I'm rambling this 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 is pretty de this is pretty delicious it's not pretty delicious it is delicious um, and it's you know it's on it's on the same playing field as uh as pumpkin, but like it's um, I don't think I don't think you can honestly compare them and say which one's better because they're both fantastic in their own right. They're just like, you know, it's like the same general ballpark of pumpkin beer, but it taking two completely different routes to get there. Mm. Yeah, I wish I, I man. I should have brought this to Thanksgiving, but you know, I like to beers like this. I want to savor them on their own. I wouldn't even want to share it. So, anyways, uh, Cigar City Good Gourd. I'm gonna give my full ten out of ten to this beer. I think it's it's outstanding. I think it's you know it's as good as pumpkin. Just but it's you can't even really compare it. Like you can't go in thinking that it's gonna be the same thing as pumpkin. Like pumpkin's its own beer and it's a great beer, and this is its own beer. And this is a great beer too. So if you can get it, I'd recommend picking it up. So thanks, thanks again to Matt Stewart for uh, hooking me up with this bottle. I owe you one for this. And uh, thanks out there to you guys for watching. I should have reviewed this a long time ago. Sorry it took me so long. But we're going to start to get into Christmas beers now. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Cheers.